I was going to do like a full body character, but I don't have time for that now because you get yeah, some portfolios. <laughs> so. Yeah, I was talking with my friends and like illustrators on Facebook and in real life. So we are all fan of your work, fans of your work. So uh -huh. we were, we were, I think last year, I don't know, we were saying like, um, if you should really make some great illustration, like fully rendered, like if you could do that, I mean, uh, you could, but uh, you always do concept art, so. Yeah, I, you know, I like concept art. Like that's what I do. Like I like to just so, draw one character, looking cool, yeah. and then move on with my life. <laughs> it just fits. It fits my personality too. Yeah, but, and we were thinking like, what artist could do like some amazing illustration? The the internet will blow up. Like, and we all said Anthony Jones. <laughs> <laughs> Yeah, well, I appreciate that. It's not that, uh, and I've done some illustrations, and they're not that that good comparatively. But it's only because of everything that I've talked to you guys about. It's like if you don't practice yeah. something, you just won't be good at it. It's just it's really that simple. And it's not that I can't do it. It's just I choose not to, right? And it's not that I don't think illustration is a as a a real career. Obviously, I, I do. Um, it's just again, it's just choice. That's why I'm a big fan of making you guys do what you want to do, not what I tell you to do. Yeah. So you can see um, uh, Oliver, if you're there, like the cutting, if you haven't seen what I've done already, the fact that I can cut so easily is freaking so good. Density. Uh, there you go. Um, wait, is, yeah, Oliver, you're still here, right? I see you. You're just hiding out silently. Which environment that I had? Because it's nice. So this one, yeah, and what I'm trying to make a point of to when you guys learning 3D software is, is it should just speed up your process. So if you find yourself spending like countless amounts of hours trying to do a, a decent design you know, um, ask yourself a few questions. One of the first questions I usually ask myself is, is this a product of me or is this a product of the tool? Meaning that am I like just not very good at designing or, or am I having a hard time designing, you know, this tool? And once you ask yourself that question, what the? Um, you can start objectively understanding whether you can like move forward with the same tool. For instance, like when I was working with ZBrush, I knew a lot of the times it just had to do with me. Like I just had a hard time managing the interface, but I knew it was possible. I just had to keep practicing. And so I just kept practicing and practicing until I got it. And then with 3D Coat, it was just like, I didn't even have to think at all. I just can do it. And that was kind of game changing for me. So check this out. You can do some crazy, oops. You can do some crazy splitting of your design. And this is, this is where this is where I think uh, ZBrush starts to lose the 3D coat. Because the ease of um, the 
because the ease of just changing materials alone is like you might think well what what's so crazy about that like i just uh pick the different object and change the material and i'm like yeah i know try that in zbrush because when you change material it affects every single one and you might ask yourself why mr anthony jones and i would say i don't know why I don't know why. And this is just so nice and so clean to do. You can do some cool stuff like this, too. Oops. I'll have it on uh, lasso selection. But if you look, like, I can do, like, I can cut out complete sections. See that? That's crazy. I mean, I can bring them back in. Yeah, amazing. And then what I can do is just keep doing that. I can just keep... And you can bring it, bring that back. Yeah. Wow. And then, and then what you can do is you can. Uh, did I do it wrong? I might have messed it up. Oh, I did. Okay, now I can try again. There you go. You can bring it back as a separate piece, a separate, a separate segment. You see that? And then it creates a, a cut line for you now. Which is awesome. But that's not what I want to do. I do want it to be like really bizarre. Oops. And I just have hotkeys for everything which is like my preferred oh well, I think I lost it it's fine and check this out this is something that's really cool too is that you can actually make layers and you can make groups and folders with those layers. It's freaking crazy. You know? That's pretty cool. I didn't anticipate that. Yeah, that's really cool. I never thought about doing it this way. That's like a really hard thing to sculpt out. Yeah, that's really cool. I'm going to clean those up later. But right now, I'm going to delete hidden. And then up res. And hope it doesn't crash. <laughs> oh, it didn't. And it smoothed out those edges. Nice. See, that's like a very complex thing to do. And so then what I can do now is do a vox height again. Right? And then I can go ahead and cut that. So that's like really perfect. It's clean. But see, it got rid of the... The centerpiece right but that's easy to get back you just gotta just control click and make sure you get that whole selection and then you get that back you see and then you get that crisp edge right there and you do the same thing right here
and then you just go from the front view. See you later, Natalie. Appreciate you. Thanks for all the good work and all the good effort and all the good music and all the good naps. I will miss your naps. See, so, yeah, you can just start making really uh, epic, like, hard surface characters. Now, re apologizing that, that's going to be intense. But I'm not, I don't have any efforts of, or any plans to do that. I'm going to keep this really simple. You gotta go? Laters. Yeah, I appreciate you guys. So anyone who bounces out, I just want to say thank you guys for taking the class. I really do appreciate you. And you guys can always message me on the Discord if you guys have any more questions or any more concerns uh, uh, or things that you would want to ask me. I'll, I'll be around there more often than not. So feel free to hit me up. All right? Appreciate you. Good stuff. Yeah, man. Thanks. Yeah, and by the way, if you guys have any questions, feel free to ask about anything else. I know I'm doing this thing. I got like 10 more minutes before I have to get going. But uh, feel free to ask. How is your help, man? It's getting better. Um, I'm taking these shots. Um, every uh every month to help reduce my hormones so i don't get another tumor or worse cancers yeah. but uh it, it's going well though i mean i feel so much better than i did when i before my surgery and i'm just yeah. getting better every day sure yeah so thanks for asking Man. Yeah, it's it was intense for sure, but um, you know I'm past it now. Anthony, can I ask you something? Um, not really, really to R, but yeah, dude, go for it. The same field. Uh, mm, okay. Um, can you explain a bit about how to deal with tax in the U.S. for, for um, as a um, as a freelancer artist? Um, yeah, the the way that you have to do it is that you have to kind of save a lot of your money. Uh, there's a good rule, which is save about twenty percent of all the money you make from freelance, right, and then just put it away somewhere. But that's just like so hard to manage. Right. And so what I've done, because I've, I've, I'm a victim of like not paying attention to that kind of shit very often. So I have, I have to pay for it like the hard way, you know? And what I've learned is that you just need someone to, to manage that if you're not doing it yourself. Okay. Like there's very simple things, obviously, like keep all the, keep documentation of everything that you've ever got paid from. Uh, you can just use your bank statements. It's the easiest way to kind of get that, get all your, uh, W-2s and stuff in order, and IO-9s, right? We get all that stuff, like, just at hand. And then when you have to file taxes, you just put all this shit together, take it to, like, a tax person, and then uh, hopefully you don't have to pay a lot of money. But, I see. But it, it's, it's, it's a complicated system, and it's only getting worse now that the president of the United States is a an imbecile. Yeah, I'm trying to understand how it works, but... Um... The percentage they they I always ask how 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 they calculate it, um, how much they take from yearly from the from the whole amount. Um, do, you, do you know how what was 
percentage of the tax they took it from I'm not sure. Say is it I I, I heard it's twenty five percent or something like that. Is yeah, twenty correct? twenty to twenty five percent. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Income tax. So you just gotta you just gotta that's why I said you have to put that shit away. Otherwise you, at the end of the year uh, or at the end of tax season, you'll have to pay a lot of money, I see. right? That you just didn't, you were not prepared for. But it it, it makes sense that uh, you weren't being taxed for it. You're just getting that money and you just got the full amount, you know. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. But what sucks is that uh, you're you're an immigrant, correct? Right? Like you're not you're not from the states, so like you're paying in taxes to a country in which. You're not reaping any of the social benefits. It's just, it's absurd um, that you have to pay so much, and you don't get like um, subsidies for health insurance or um, social security. You know what I mean? Like it's crazy. Like, do you have a social security? Oh uh, yeah, I do. Okay, so then you do. Then then it may not be so bad for you. But there are some people that I know that don't have it, right? They're like uh, like like some notable artist too. Like I'm not talking about like just some like you know freelance. I'm talking about like some heavy hitters. I'm not gonna give up the names because I don't think it's appropriate. But trust me, like they like they don't have. And I'm just like what? And like, yeah, I know, and I have to pay all these taxes. It's it's, it's kind of insane. Um, so if you do, then it's, it's it works out. Then you you'll get some of that money later. Um, if you if you stay here <laughs> if you don't, don't you don't get any of that and so uh yeah i mean uh if like in my personal experience i'm not the best person to ask about this right like i just i also have a hard time with it you know especially since i uh have my own business that's why i pay other people to do it for me you know what i mean okay. so uh, i'm not going to give you any more advice than what i just give you because i know that's the only advice that i had before and it was helpful but still like didn't rectify the problem because i didn't manage myself very well like i had a job and i was doing freelance and i had like worked under a studio for like it's just like all over the place so i'm like yeah i was not paying attention to any of that you know what i mean yeah i see and so um uh, i i usually tell people to find a good accountant of some sort especially if you're a freelancer um because then you don't have to worry about that money stuff as much. Because when you work for a studio, right, they they have an accountant for you, right? They have an accounting, right? And your employer, handle all yeah, your employer handles all your taxes, right? And so then at the end of the year, you just what you do when you file that, you just put in, you just basically give them all your paychecks, and then they just look how many how much taxes has been taken out, and then they say, oh, okay, they took too much, so we're gonna give you a refund of X amount, you know? But what's what's good about when you work for an employer is that they when they do that, like you're not consciously aware of the money they're taking out. You know what I mean? Like you, you will I'm sure you're aware they're taking income tax, like I'm, I'm sure you're aware they're taking this much money out. But because you don't touch it, you know what I mean? Like yeah. you don't you don't feel like you actually have it. And that's kind of the beauty of having taxes taken out right away versus later. So someone for me, like I have to actually pay my taxes quarterly. So at the end of the year it's not like fucking a shit show but i haven't I but i didn't do that for like two years so it's already a shit show so that's why i said i have to pay for somebody to help me out with that stuff mm -hmm. okay but like according to like my accountants and stuff they're like yeah what you're supposed to do is like every three months you pay you just pay the irs like x amount of money like you just give them this much money and at the end of the year you say look i've also given you this much money guys you know and then they're like oh you gave us too much and then i get my refund in that way okay <clears throat> yeah, but who knows? Maybe I won't have to pay shit because Donald Trump is all about destroying the IRS, <laughs> and uh, I don't want that though. Like all of, all of his policies benefit people like me, right? They do, and yet I hate him and hate all his policies. Because although yes, maybe I'll have a a, a better state of uh, living for myself and my family. Um, not all my friends and family are as benefit beneficial as I am. And there are people that I know that are very poor and they don't have a lot of access. And um, I can afford taking a, a large payments out, right? 
Um, it'll hurt, but I can bounce back, right? A lot of my friends and peers can't do any of that. And that's, you don't, you don't build a society to benefit to only the very wealthy. That's not how it works. If you want to build a booming economy, uh, if like if you really want to think of it as a as a, a strong foundation to build a strong economy, you got to make it so that people who have um, the middle class specifically, specifically, you want to make sure that they have money to spend. You know. Yeah. yeah. <clears throat> and so like all this tax stuff is is. Um, it's already fucking up the middle class, and what the, he's proposing is going to make it even worse for the middle class, because um, the middle class will have to make up for the difference that the rich people don't have to pay. Mm-hmm. And it's so stupid. It's just all ass backwards. <clears throat> and so um, I'm not sure where your you you uh where your income is at, um, but um. Like I'm not like a millionaire either. I'm not trying to make that implication, but I am like I am in that two to three percent of people. You know, I make a really reasonable wage. Uh, but I don't even without even though I make this much money, I still live in an apartment. I don't only have like one car. You know, it's all beat up too. I, I live a very modest life. I spend all my money in where I live and my health insurance because I have like five. Are six people to take care of, and it costs me fifteen hundred dollars. They just raise our premium a uh, hundred dollars more every month, and then we're gonna have another baby, and then it's gonna go up to another three hundred dollars. Yeah, so I'm like spending almost two thousand dollars, and I'm gonna be starting to spend probably almost two thousand dollars at the end of June, you know. And so, um, but I I am in that bracket of tax relief, and I'm like, why? <laughs> you know, it's just so, so, so monthly, backwards. I'm sorry to interrupt, but so monthly, how much you pay for uh, insurance? Uh, almost right now, almost fifteen hundred dollars. So, like in two months, you can you can buy apartments in Serbia. Like, <laughs> I can buy just, I can buy one, yeah. like a whole apartment yeah, complex. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, yeah, like 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 I don't know. Maybe maybe I should. Maybe you and I we should get together and I'll invest in apartments <laughs> and lease them out. I'm not joking. And then make some of that money yeah. back. <laughs> and then yeah, a lot of money, man. Yeah, and, so, and like, just rent it out to Serbians and then uh, make a, make a, maybe make like a small art studio out of it, an art education park. Like, yeah. like you guys, you guys spend so much money on this, man. So. <laughs> yeah, it is, and I have. I have a. I'm. I'm very happy with my circumstances. I'm not complaining. I'm just saying that okay. it's like unfortunate. Um, like I, me and my wife have talked about this. Like uh, moving to a much cheaper area, because I can do what I do anywhere. Like literally, I can as long as I have at least uh, 10 megabits of um, upload speed, I, I can do what I do anywhere. Uh, yeah. Specifically with that standard. Anywhere that has that standard, that allows that standard. Yeah. Because here in Serbia, we, we like we have a free health insurance. We have like really. Yeah, I know when I went to Croatia, I didn't have to pay anything. I just went in there and yeah, it's thirty the bucks. Same, like, yeah. Yeah, it's the same. Same thing, like. All right. I um I actually have that in the class now because so my daughter has her first interview for her school. But um, I just want to say, guys, yeah, look at the even the render, the external render is like reasonable, man. It's crazy. Yeah. Like I, I and I actually use it. I will like take this and then I'll paint over it. I've done it before, but I'm just gonna probably continue making this look nice. I'm gonna actually try to make a genuinely epic 3D model out of this, and then put it in uh, Sketchfab. But uh, let me save this before. Um, wait, what did you say? Someone just said something. I didn't read it. Hold on. Robot. Um, yeah, I appreciate you guys, though. Seriously, you guys did really good work. Thank you for taking a class. You support me, and that's really valuable to me. 
Um, I, I'm sure I'll see you guys at some point in my career and your guys' career, like walking in a studio or walking around in like a convention or a workshop. I'm positive this will happen. And then one day, you know, we'll all just hang out and chill out and it'll be a great thing. And, uh, and I really do appreciate you guys for all the good work. If you guys just keep motivated, keep positive, paint and hang out with each other on discord or outside of discord, you will see in years that this will be a very beneficial to you. It'll be a great investment to invest into each other as well. And not only because you build strong friendships, but also you'll be able to help each other in, in times of need. And uh, let it be known that I'm always be around to help you guys as well. You guys always can reach out to me. I'll be around. And with that being said, peace out, friends. I'll have this recording for you guys sometime in the middle of the day. Uh, yeah, probably when you. I get back, it'll be done. Yeah, guys. Thank you so much. Yeah, man. Go take a yeah, nap, thanks. guys. Everyone take, take a nap. Take care. <laughs> Later, guys. Thank you for watching this video. I appreciate it. Please subscribe to watch more in the future. If you like the video, I would appreciate a thumbs up. If you like this content, you can go to my website, robotpencil.net, where you can find mentorships, tutorials, and a Patreon to get more exclusive content. Thanks again, and I'll see you guys in my next videos.